And you see that smile all over the face of Masha Slamovich. It was this past weekend at Victory Road, sold out right here in San Antonio, that Slamovich did everything possible to try and retain the Knockouts World Tag Team titles on behalf of the Militia, teaming with Tasha Steeles, who was a replacement for Alicia Edwards, named that same day. And they did not hold up their end of the bargain, Tom. Oh, look, big, bad Masha. What are you gonna do, hurt me when I'm not medically cleared? You think you're gonna come out here and fight me? Well, guess what? You can't because I am under concussion protocol. But listen, Masha, we all know I was the brains behind Militia. You are nothing without me. These fans know it too. You want to know something, Masha? What's funny is that you don't even understand a word I'm saying. You don't even speak English. Позволь мне сказать тебе одну вещь. What I just said was, I understand everything that you've ever said. I'm sick of hearing your voice. And just like all these people, I'm sick of you. Tensions are rising here at me. Look out! And wait a minute, there's Tasha Steeles attacking Slamovic from behind. And there's someone who actually has the back of Alicia Edwards. Yeah, Steeles was utilized by the system. Whoa! Oh! At Victory Road, clearly trying to do the system's bidding. Slamovich beat the hell out of Steeles. Oh, and now Alicia Edwards with Kendra the Kendo Stick. I thought she wasn't medically cleared for competition or physicality of any kind. She's not. Kendra's perfectly well and cleared to do some damage, though, tonight. <laughs> this is what happens when you bite the hand that feeds. Oh, wait a minute! There comes the juggernaut! It was after Victory Road the juggernaut oh. told Masha. Maybe it was all a blessing in disguise. And now has the back of Slamovich. Wait a minute, wait a minute, look at the back of your screen. Here comes Brian Myers and Eddie Edwards of the system. To help first class take control. And this is what makes first class so effective. You got the speed, the athleticism of KC Navarro. You got the power of the big man, AJ Francis. Line it up! A little bit of Tennessee whiskey for the boys. Uh, listen, you don't have to like first class. Hold on, here's a cover and a kick out by Icarus, but you can't argue the fact that they've developed chemistry in a very short amount of time, Navarro and Francis. Right, no doubt about it. They are motivated beyond all get out, Tom. These guys, oh. they have their mind on the money and the money on the mind, and that means gold. Oh. Oh. First class! Oh! oh. Double stop. Navarro, a cover and a kick out by Icarus. The confidence of KC Navarro, somebody who I've always seen in the world of pro wrestling for the last several years, someone who just needed an opportunity to break out. AJ Francis gave him that opportunity. Navarro launched into the corner, launched out of the ring by Icarus. Oh, now look at this. Oh, a DDT by Judas Icarus. Planting. AJ Francis, this is a rare opportunity for Icarus. And Icarus trying to get to his corner. He is the center of center and saint. Can he tag in Travis Williams? Tag made Williams to meet Navarro. Such a fabulous tag team legacy in TNA wrestling. Oh, as we saw the match between the ABC and the system at Victory Road just adding to that legacy. There are so many teams in the mix now eyeing the TNA World Tag Team titles with Bound for Glory five weeks away. Boom! Casey Navarro, great move there, but wait! Great adjustment by Center and 
Saint. KC Navarro thought he'd avoided Center and Saint, and instead they tracked him down. Credit where it's due to Center and Saint there. Great way to think on your feet and take Casey Navarro up his. Turn him inside out. Icarus nearly had the victory there. That was an incredible. Take a look at this as Icarus turning Casey Navarro inside out. Almost gets the win, but first class stays in the fight. Tag made. Williams is legal. They were trying to set up there to put away this tag team match. And Francis just launched Icarus at Williams. Icarus sent clean out of the ring. And there's the down payment by Francis. And not done yet. Big splash from KC Navarro. First class puts away center and sink. First class gets back in the win column in a big way. As we saw, but as we saw moments ago, we know PCO, the monster, the French Canadian Frankenstein, is absolutely frothing at the mouth to get his hands around the throat of Matt Cardona. But Steph Delander asking her husband to be patient. So good question. In perfect creation, one be patient. Oh, look wait, wait, out! No, no, no! Power bomb! Cover by Rhino! Oh, the war machine can't quite end it. It's gonna take a lot more than that to put Cardona down. He doesn't say he's always ready for nothing. And wait, what, what is Rhino doing now? And Rhino may be looking for a little extra payback on Cardona from Victory Road. This is not a no disqualification match. In a street fight. I think he thinks he's back in ECW. Oh, now, oh, and a chair to the ribs, and a referee, Frank Gastineau, no choice but to call for a disqualification. Oh, come on, Rhino introduced it. Rhino Boom. silence. You play with fire, you're bound to get burned. from the liaison, Ariana Grace, creating this matchup, creating this opportunity. Hold on, wait, shoulders wait. down, trying to win the championship in a kick out. Ariana Grace did say earlier on tonight that next week here on Impact, she has one of her best friends, as she put it. She's got so many best friends. Apparently, to team up with the Knockouts World Champion, Jordan Grace, who has a vendetta against Wendy Chu and Rosemary, especially stemming from Victory Road. That tag team match is gonna go down next week on Impact. You 
see that smile on the face of Danny Luna. The fact that they put it all on the line and they were able to walk out with the Knockouts World Tag Team titles, their second Knockouts World Tag Team Championship at Victory Road. They've got all the momentum in the world right now. And Carly Bright trying to get into the ring to help out Kendall Gray. Our referee Daniel Spencer trying to control Bright. It looks like they can stand there forever. Cover by threat. To hold on to the titles and a kick out by Kendall Gray. Credit to Gray for staying in this one. Has suffered the brunt of the offense here. Another tag made. In comes the powerhouse, Danny Luna. And it just looks like Spitfire's having fun right now. Oh. It's, it's a renewed energy Press. all over, but what a counter by Kendall Gray. They're trying to set up for a double team there. Was well, Spitfire, Kendall Gray creates a little bit of separation, and in comes Carly Bright. A series of drop kicks here from Bright, representing NXT on TNA turf. Right, a former collegiate cheerleader at Athletic as they come, proving it right there. Huge opportunity. Ooh. Huge kick right to the side of the head of Danny Luna, who holds onto the top rope, trying to stop the momentum of Carly Bright. Double knees. Off the top and dropping Luna. Beautiful run off the second rope there, and now the moonsault, center of the ring. Standing moonsault to make history and a kick out at two. Spitfire have been very dominant in this matchup, but Tag. these moments, these spurts of offense from Bright and Gray together, honestly, have been very impressive. Threat has made a tag. Threat's legal against Kendall Gray. Look out. Oh, and Jody Threat got them both. And the wild child has come unglued. I know, Jody Threat's calling for it. This is how they recaptured the tag team titles. The pressure drop, Threat's legal, cover. Spitfire rolls. Once again, Santana climbing to the stage here. There's some bad intentions on the mind of Santana. Oh, it's Santana. He's gonna just dive off of the stage there on JDC, but he stopped himself. What's he doing? Oh. Dear God! As if the stage wasn't high enough, you gotta be kidding me! Santana makes sure he wants to put this one to bed with emphasis. Santana going to the top of the ladder in this Texas death match! Dango prone down below. Born nasty! Santana crushes JDC! There's the pinfall! Take another look here. We gotta take a look at this incredible leap from Mike Santana, from the top of the ladder, off the stage, through the table here. Absolutely crushing Johnny Dango Curtis. Back to live action, the referee has begun his count. If Johnny Dango Curtis can't get back up to his feet by the count of 10, Santana wins the Texas death match. I don't know how he humanly possibly could. Count of seven now from an official. Count of nine, Mike Santana wins the Texas Death Match. Here's your winner, Mike Santana. It was bloody, it was nasty, but Mike Santana scores a measure of revenge on the system in violent fashion. Mike Santana found all revenge and blood on Moose in the system, but there is the face of the franchise.
And Moose assaulting Santana with his steel chair after the grueling Texas death match. Might have won the battle. Look at the but chair. this war. Hell yeah, that chair. This war is far from over. in the main event of Victory Road, involvement by the system of plenty. John Layfield getting involved to fend off the system as the match between Nemeth and Moose continued. The wanted man endured and held on to his title. And Frankie Kazarian had a front row seat for all of it. All right, cut that stupid music. I'm honestly astonished you actually showed up because I know you're scared to death of me. But I'm glad you did because you know what? I sat right there at Victory Road and I watched you defend your title against Moose and I have you scouted. I have you locked down. I know all your strengths and all your weaknesses and when you give me my shot, I'm taking your strap, brother. First things first, shut the hell up for a minute. Kid, hell of a job at Victory Road. Looking for some big things from you in the future. I got my eye on you. I just want you to know we're all counting on you. Kaz. First of all, you're indoors. Take those damn sunglasses off. Okay. Most importantly, you call yourself the king of TNA. But there's only one crown that matters around here, and this is as close as you're ever gonna get to it. Tensions are running high once again. Santino Morella in the impact zone tonight. Guys, I'm gonna keep it short and succulent so this show can keep on going. I tell you what, next week, it's gonna be Frankie Kazarian versus Joe Henry for a number one contendership match, and the winner of which is gonna face Nick Nemeth at Bound for Glory! Now let's keep this show rocking! The broken one breaking Brian Myers. Matt Hardy trying to delete the tag team champions. Side effect. Cover. Oh, and a kick out by Brian Myers. And now you hear it, you see it. Matt Hardy calling to finish this one. Could we see? Gone for the twist of fate. Oh, now Alicia Edwards trying to trip up Matt Hardy, and our referee Paige brings a volley. It's all over it. I mean, Alicia made no bones about that one. Thank you! Look, I had it was a step over the line, but come on! Look at her, she's hurt! She Poor Alicia! Just trying to support her husband. Oh, she's she's about to break down the poor thing. She's been through so much these last few weeks, Tom. Uh... And 
Slamovich is loving it. And look, Lish ain't going anywhere, Tom. No, she's standing her ground. She won't back down. Oh, wait a minute. There's the former TNA World Tag Team Champions, the ABC. No, 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 no. You get your hands <laughs> off her, you filthy animals. How dare you? Chris Bay and Ace Austin escorting Alicia Edwards out of the impact zone. Oh. Heinous. And Myers cracks Matt Hardy from behind. Oh, no, Slamovich! Oh, Steele's running interference. Everything's starting to break down here in this tag match. And Steele sent through the ropes. Slamovich, plenty of momentum tonight, and wipes out Steele's on the outside. I know Jeff Hardy steps through the ropes, going after Myers, same amount of twist of fate. Eddie Edwards might suffer one. Oh! 